Welcome to Ground Control. I had a request to show some photos of my servo and linkage setups on this little glider, EPP uh, foam glider conversion to RC. It is only aileron and elevator control on this little glider. So I took some close up photos of the uh, tail section with the motor. Um, I took some photos of the tail servo and linkage to the elevator, and I took some photos of the uh, location of the servo under the main wing along with the linkages for the flap rods. So I will show you those here in a second. I'll put them up on the screen so that you can see them. Um, I should have done that as part of the tutorial on this conversion, but I think I neglected to do that. The other in piece of information that I wanted to give you if you decide to do this conversion with either you know this particular glider or a similar one as I wanted to give you the deflection of the control surfaces that I have on this one if you've watched any of the flight videos you can see that it has plenty of aileron authority I've got a really good roll rate on it I have plenty of elevator authority for loops and split asses just about anything that you want to do with it and that's pretty important information to have if you want to have a successful maiden flight after doing this conversion and it doesn't take a lot of deflection of the control surfaces for this so on my ailerons or flap rons as I have them programmed I only have five millimeters of deflection in each direction for each one of these two control surfaces. So that's five millimeters up, five millimeters down for a total of 10 millimeters of travel and each one of those control surfaces for the ailerons. And for the elevator, I only have four millimeters of deflection up and down. And that doesn't sound like a lot, but, but it's plenty for this particular airframe. Some airframes require quite a bit of travel in the control surfaces to make the airframe pivot. But this one doesn't take much at all. And all I have in it is four millimeters of travel up and four millimeters down for a total of eight millimeters of travel in the elevator. And that gives me plenty of elevator control authority. So um, I would suggest if you do a do one of these conversions start off with those numbers and I'm by no means am I an expert pilot I consider myself an intermediate level RC pilot especially flying line of sight so in and, and those are very comfortable uh, control service deflections on this model for me um, if you're uh, more experienced, then you, you might want to increase those a little bit if you like a much faster roll rate or a lot more authority on the, on the elevator. But I would suggest on your maiden flight, go with those uh, control surface deflection numbers that I just gave you. And um, that, will, that should give you, as long as you get your CG correct, that should give you a successful maiden flight. And um, I believe in the plans, I also described where the CG is on this plane. And it's actually further back toward the trailing edge of the main wing rather than the front part of the main wing. And um, let me measure it here real quick. Where I balance this plane is 35 millimeters from the trailing edge of the wing. That's where I balance the plane. So there you go, there are the numbers. Um, I hope that helps out the person that had, who wanted to see close-up photos of the, of the servos and control links, and I hope that helps you guys you know, with your setup on your deflection on your aileron and elevators to help you get a successful flight, maiden flight out of this conversion. So thanks for watching. Please give a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to check out our Patreon site. We have a lot of free content there as well. And I will see you in the air.